Hey everyone, it's Blake Schwank. I wanted to talk a little bit of a tech tip and a little bit of Cyber Saturday. And what I want to talk to you about today is the Internet of Things. Um, and how do we secure those? And then how do we set them up so that they're easier to manage? And I'm standing outside our office where we've got a ring doorbell. And I know a lot of people would say, wait, you don't like Internet of Things, they're unsecure. Well, there is a way to make them secure, to protect your network and make sure that things are done properly. And to do it, whether it's a ring doorbell, whether it's cameras, whether it's your TVs, what have you. We have smart TVs as well connected to the internet showing us all the threats across the globe so that we can stay on top of the threats that are out there. And we have cameras that are connected to our network as well. And we have cool thermostats so we can make sure that we're not spending too much money managing the hot and cold in the office and so everybody stays comfortable. And we even have little Alexas so that when somebody pushes the ring doorbell downstairs that everybody in the office knows that somebody is standing at our front door or our back door. So given all these internet of things, things that we have on our network, how do we make sure that we keep the network safe? Because, you know, these things are all over the place. Now, I was reading an article that there's something like 80 million doorbells or 60 million doorbells out there. There's 80 million cameras. There's cameras in everybody's house. There's lights out there. Um, you can, you know, I, I, I go around my house. I've got multiple smart TVs, multiple Alexas, cameras, light switches. Um, the outdoor lights are on control so that uh, I can manage them. And it, it, it's amazing the number of things that I have at my house and at the office. And how do we keep all that secure? Well, the way that we do it and the way that we keep it easier to manage is you want to make sure that you have a router in your house or a firewall at your house and a firewall in your office that is segmented properly to keep them on their own network. So they get their own set of IP addresses, their own configuration. Uh, and this is for a couple reasons. One is, is the security side of it. So if it's on its own network, if somebody manages to break into your cameras, break into your refrigerator, your TV, whatever, they can't get to your computers and your private stuff. And you know, you could name this network and, and you go to your router, you go to your firewall, your wireless, you set up uh, a separate VLAN, separate network and a separate SSID. All of this can be found in the help files of your firewall, the help site of your router, and you set up a, an SSID. The other part of that from a management standpoint is most of these internet of things belong on what is called a 2.4 gigahertz frequency on your network. You have 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks. The most Internet of Things, like light bulbs and, and outlets, um, cannot connect to a 5 gigahertz network. So you want to set up a 2.4 gigahertz network, call it devices or call it uh, outlets or call it, uh, you know, cameras, call it something like that. And then you configure it and then go to all your Internet of Things devices and join them to that 2.4 gigahertz networks that is set up separately from your home network or your business network. So you got your business side that, you know, might be, you know, uh, Bob's Builders, you know, internal, and then you've got Bob's Builders um, devices network and make sure you set it up on the devices network. Then, then if you ever have a threat, you can always really quickly log in and kill that network if you need to, plus nothing over there can get over to it. So that's the biggest thing is of how you segment it. Now, the next level of this, besides setting up an SSID that is only for your Internet of Things devices and an SSID that segments it and a VLAN that segments it, the next um, step is to make sure that all of these Internet of Things, if they provide for it, make sure you set up multi-factor authentication. Now this is super critical on things like security devices. Um, that's gonna be your alarms, um, your cameras. What you don't want is someone to be able to easily break into your camera system without having to have what's called 2FA, two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication. And if you're a Ring person, you know what this is, you log into um, Ring and it prompts you and says, Hey, we need 
a code and then it emails you the code or the code shows up on your cell phone. Same thing with your with Amazon. You can set it up so that it prompts you and that makes sure that they have to have that information to log in. The uh, other part that we really need to think about is where do we put cameras? I, I, I'm really bothered by people that put cameras in their houses just creep me out. And I know a number of people have have them in their houses, but if somebody breaks in, they can actually see what you're doing into your house. And they've used them as baby monitors. And there are some stories out there, if you search for baby monitor hacked, where there's been some creepy stuff where people have found someone talking through the camera in their child's bedroom. So make sure you enable multi-factor authentication and make sure if, uh, you know, don't put a camera in your house. It's just, you know, it, it, it's just creepy. So if you have a business and you want to know how to segment your network so that in your office you can have your cameras, your ring doorbells, your alarm system on a separate network other than your business stuff, please reach out to us at Colorado Computer Support. This is what we do every day is help secure our clients' networks to ensure that if they have an internet of things breach, that it doesn't take their whole network down. Um, and so you can find us on the web at www.coloradosupport.com or call us at 719-439-0599. And I hope this helps you uh, protect your, not only your network, but also your Roombas, your TVs, your fire sticks, your, your light bulbs, all that other stuff that's out there that's super fun to play with and super cool. Make sure you keep it segmented. One, different SSID. Two, different VLAN. Three, make sure you got MFA set up to protect it. Oh, and as always, make sure you get difficult passwords on things and get a password manager so that you can have different passwords for everything that you manage. And I uh, hope you have a great rest of your weekend.